COVID-19 cases, they continue to rise across Florida and here in Duval County. And that has some people asking, could fines for not wearing your mask be something coming to Jacksonville? Well, some other counties in the state are implementing fines, and these places are mostly in South Florida. This comes as the governor says fear over COVID-19 may have resulted from more deaths across the state. News for Jack's reporter Joe McLean explains why that is, but we begin with News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker live tonight with details on the ongoing mask debate. Marilyn, there is even talk of stay-at-home orders coming back. Yes, and a few people I spoke with today say if they if they feel like we can't get the spread under control, they fear we'll have to go back into phase one or even start to see fines implemented if we don't start wearing masks in public. Since Jacksonville's executive order to mandate masks in public and indoors where you can't social distance, the number of cases have gone up. Do you think it's helping at all? If people would do it, I think it would. And they probably need to shut things down. They just need to shut the city down again. Some city leaders across Florida say if the public doesn't comply with the safety mandates, stay at home orders could come back. In Miami-Dade County, an emergency order from Thursday allows a $100 fine for people not wearing masks in public, $500 for businesses. So you think that should be happening here Absolutely. in Jacksonville? Absolutely. I think they should be worn in appropriate places, you know, but I don't feel like you should be forcing people to wear a mask everywhere. Basically, you telling people to be sheep. Miami-Dade has far more positive cases than Duval, but enforcement could still be a possibility. Mayor Curry has said in the past that the city won't start ticketing people for not wearing masks. In the last week, we've seen major retailers start to require masks inside their stores. Retail experts say though it's difficult to enforce the rules, the rise in cases doesn't give them a choice. You forcing people, you giving people fines, I think you creating a law for people to break. And while there are mixed reviews on implementing that mask mandate, most of the people I spoke with today say they really do hope that the spread will die down soon. You can view a full list of those retailers that are going to start implementing that mask requirement inside their stores as early as next week right now on newsforjacks.com. We're live in Jacksonville tonight, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station.